September 15th marks the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month, which runs through October 15th. Originally established in June 1968, this month celebrates how Hispanic and Latinx people have contributed to our communities. The time of Hispanic Heritage Month is significant as it coincides with the independence days of several Latin American countries. According to the last census, there are over 7.7 .7 million people in Washington. The Hispanic community makes up more than 13% of our state's population. That's over 1 million people. Hispanic and Latinx communities are a rich tapestry of diverse cultures, traditions, and beliefs. These communities originate from 20 different Latin American countries and Spain, with many Latinx individuals also being born in the United States. Each individual contributes unique customs, cuisines, dialects, and histories to the overall community. It's important to recognize that the term Hispanic or Latino includes people of various racial and ethnic backgrounds, including indigenous, Afro-Latino, white, and mixed race individuals. Here at the Department of Health, we want to take the opportunity to celebrate the contributions of the Hispanic and Latinx people to the United States, and especially to public health. Hispanic people have long been pivotal in shaping public health policies and practices. For example, prominent Puerto Rican Helen Rodriguez Trias co-founded the Campaign to End Sterilization Abuse at the New York Department of Health's AIDS Institute at the height of HIV AIDS epidemic in the 1980s. In 1993, she became the first Latina to serve as president at the American Public Health Association. Panamanian Ildaura Murillo Road, a nurse of Panamanian descent, founded the National Association of Hispanic Nurses to attract more Hispanic people to nursing in order to best serve their communities. Mexican Julio Frank expanded health coverage to more than 55 million people as Mexico's minister of health and now serves as the president of the University of Miami, the first Hispanic person to do so. Dr. Jane Delgado is a Latina author and legislator who tackles complex issues like HIV, AIDS, mental health, the environment, and women's health. Breaking down barriers and stereotypes, she's made the world a healthier place for all of us. Dr. Carlos Juan Finlay, a Cuban scientist, theorized that mosquitoes spread yellow fever helping to eliminate the disease. Dr. Antonio Novello would change history in 1990 when she became the first woman and the first Hispanic person to be appointed as the Surgeon General of the United States. She was responsible for promoting public health and educating Americans on essential health issues in this role. At the Department of Health, we acknowledge and celebrate these contributions by Hispanic and Latinx people that have changed the way we do public health. Muchas gracias. Nos haces mejores administradores de la salud pública.